This is the second episode of the Clutchwork mini series. The first episode we focused on foot tapping and clutching out quick in a circle. The second episode we're going to focus on how to stall on an object like a trailer, a railing, a pole, a light pole, a basketball hoop, basically a, you know, a truck mirror, a bus mirror, anything you can grab with your hand or put your foot on. The first thing that I did with learning how to stall on an object was getting comfortable stalling the bike in a circle but not taking my feet off. I've covered how to stall the bike and park the bike at 12 where you step off completely, but you want to do the same thing, but don't take your feet off. Just try and hold it at 12 for as long as you can. It's not going to be that long, but you just want to let it sit there because that's the same motion you're going to be doing when you go to stall on an object. As you bring it past 12, pull the clutch in, pull the handbrake in, and you know, take off your arm or leg to grab whatever you need to, but you, you end up holding it right at 12. So just like that, if you get comfortable doing that a bunch, that'll really help you out with stalls. That example was a little too much handbrake. I may have gotten away with grabbing the object if I was quick enough and being able to hold myself up, but if you get comfortable with stalling in a circle without taking your feet off and just holding it there, That'll give you the ability to just take your throttle hand off or your foot off and you know grab onto something. That's the first thing that I would do. There's nothing too difficult about stalling on an object. It's just really important to get that technique down of being able to hold that like balance point at 12 and taking off your arm to grab what you need to grab. Why I say get comfortable doing it out here first is because when you go to stall on an object, if you give it too much break, you're gonna mouse trap yourself, which I'll show right here. If you give it too little break, you'll probably just come too far back and the bike might fall into the object that you're trying to stall on or fall back on you or whatever. You might get, you know, you don't want to get stuck basically. So that might look like this. You don't want to cut back into the railing like that. When you get really comfortable and you can finally land a stall, this is what it will look like. None of this should be particularly, you know, new and surprising and 100% and difficult for you. You know, it'll take a little bit to figure out the timing. Like there, I clutched in too far back. You know, I may have had time to take my hand off to grab an object. But what I mean by parking it at 12 is this, but leave, keep yourself on the bike. So if you're doing double back peg circles or seat sander, you want to be here. And like, I got no handbrake right now. This is the like stall position that you'll end up in. You're gonna get back on and hold it. And if you're comfortable clutching out, go ahead and do that. But that's really all you need to do to learn stalls is just practice parking it without taking your feet off. One other thing that I did do that I remembered was I clutched up and kind of parked it on the, on the rear tire. And then I like walked it up to the object that I was gonna stall on. And then I hopped. I like hop back on the bike, grab the object. So I basically completed the second half of the stall just to get comfortable with how that might feel. I parked it and then and then you know I grabbed it, hopped on the bike. And right now this is like the second half of the stall. And it's kind of I would say in addition to stalling out there, getting used to this feeling where you're just balancing. Doing this might be useful as well because you just get a feel for how it's going to feel when you grab onto your object and you're just hovering there. I'm just providing my insight and what helped me learn. You should be comfortable using clutch and handbrake and it's just about getting comfortable kind of circling in a tight space and being able to grab the object and operate the clutch handbrake at the same time and do it smoothly so you don't mousetrap yourself. So practice parking the bike out here without taking your feet off and you don't have to like hold it 
for a super long time. You might not even hold it for a second. It might just be like a half second where you're just sitting right at that sweet spot and you can let the clutch out if you're good and comfortable with that or you just kind of let the bike fall back down. Either way, it doesn't really matter. You just want to kind of limit how hard you're dropping the bike. Stalling out here is very similar to the video I made about parking on the rear wheel. You're doing that same technique, but you're not stepping off. You're just staying on the bike, stalling for that second, letting it fall back down or clutching out, whatever you're comfortable with. And then you can also clutch up and walk it to where you want to stall, grab it, hop on the bike, see how that feels, and then put the two together. And once you're really comfortable using clutch and handbrake at the same time, and you have a good feel on how much brake you need and the timing, you should be good. The other thing I will mention is when you do go to saw, look at what you're gonna grab kind of right before you get to it and that'll kind of take you to that. If you just kind of do your circle and try and stall and stay looking, you know, ahead in the circle or, you know, straight ahead or whatever, you might miss what you want to grab. So if you focus on it just at the last second, you should be within reach and can grab it and should have no issue. So that's it for how to stall on an object. How to stash in the carpet. Yeah, we trapping on apartments. I ain't done while you start